talk about where there is content, there is people that are bored and have nothing better to do with their lives that they have to talk about this certain topic. Listen, I don't need an intro. You, you, you already know who I am. The Bears are not going to trade Justin Fields. Yet, this is a huge talking point to everybody I have been hanging around with. To the, to the podcast that I do. To how it's affecting the media. Because people, like, people want to say, like Colin Cowher said um said that the bears need uh should trade justin fields because justin fields has been horrible the past two seasons and i'm not going to deny stats stat wise justin stats are horrible but if you look at his weapons his second year his best two receivers that entire year were equinavius sam brown and dante pettis the rest were either hurt or they rarely even played. And don't even include Claypool because Claypool came when we traded him for him. Like, as much as the Bears are in a very good position to build around Justin Fields, why would, like, you have the most calf space and you have the potentially first overall pick that you can trade back to a quarterback needing team like the Colts, the Texans, the the Panthers, the Commanders. Like the Bears have a opportunity to build around Justin Fields. And I will say this until draft day is over. I rather build around Justin Fields, a guy that knows the NFL. Like this is going to be his third season technically i rather build around justin who knows and he has that good hard work mentality than a bryce young like here, here's what people don't understand i don't i think bryce young has the tech the tactics to be a decent quarterback in this league but i don't think he's a generational quarterback like an andrew luck or trevor lawrence was like, here's what the people do not understand. Bryce Young is, to me, I don't think he's the best quarterback. I think C.J. Stroud's the best quarterback. But does that mean I want C.J. Stroud? Absolutely not. Because C.J. Stroud is not also a generational talent either. See, the thing is that why do people, like, we went from saying that the Bears have put Justin Fields in a terrible position to, Oh, it should be considering the right the, for the Bears to move on. Oh, because this regime didn't drafted him. Oh, he doesn't like playing in Chicago. Uh, Chicago weather. Well, newsflash: I don't think anyone wants to play in the cold. I think anyone would would uh, play in a dome when they're playing football. No one wants to play in the cold. You ask any NFL player who where would they play a dome where it's cold. Or a outside where it's like 10 degrees where you're burning your nutsacks off. Tell me. You ask any NFL player that, they will say they would rather have a dome. But Justin, he's going to have no choice but to deal with it. He's not going to say, oh, I'm sitting out until he's going to build. He said he wants to have a dome, but he's not threatening to sit out because of it. But honestly... I don't hate the people that talk about this because honestly, I get it. There's nothing to talk about at this point. Like there are so many things you could be talking about, but because they need content to talk about, they just want to talk about this shit. Like Bryce Young is not generational. Is he probably the best quarter? I mean, yeah, but to me, Stroud is kind of the best quarterback out of this draft class. I'm not taking a chance on Bryce Young. And also, why would we be getting a first round pick out of Justin Fields if his stats are bad, as you say? 
statistically speaking, Justin has exceeded ex- expectations with nobody as n- nobody's. Like, there is not a quarterback that could have done what Justin Fields could have done last year. And take hits behind a offensive line, getting up, taking too many hits and always getting back up and always continue to show promise. I guarantee you Bryce Young would not even last a full season behind this horrible offensive line. And even if Justin doesn't work out, you could potentially bring in the next quarterback, not this class, but next class in a better position than you did Justin Fields. But I don't think that's the case. I don't think this franchise is dumb enough to trade fields. And if they do, Ryan Poles should immediately be canned. And I don't care what anyone says to me. I'm not taking Bryce Young. I'm sorry. We have an opportunity to build around the best drafted quarterback in Chicago Bears history. And why do people say, oh, why do you take this so personally? Well, because I'm tired of this quarterback carousel that the Chicago Bears have been doing for a very long time. The Bears have never had a quarterback that consistently has been elite. Like we never had a Patrick Mahomes. We never had a Tom Brady. We never had a Peyton Manning. We never had a great generational quarterback in our um, franchise. I witnessed Rex Grossman, Kyle Orton, the Jay Cutler days, the to Matt Barkley days, and uh, Josh McCown, Mike. And don't forget the dumbest move was paying Mike Glennon $45 million and getting Trubisky over to Sean Watson and Patrick Mahomes. And having Nick Foles and Andy Dalton, I have had enough of this quarterback here. So I want Justin to be the quarterback for us for the next foreseeable future. And I think it's time that we do the right thing and build around him to see what he can do. And this is the perfect opportunity to build around your generational quarterback. I'd rather build around that generational talent than a generational talent that you do not know who's going to be going to be good. Can Bryce Young have a decent career? Yeah, but he needs a good team around him. The Bears have not been a good team over the past two years. And with the most cap space and a lot of draft capital we're going to get with a quarterback needing team, we are set to give Justin Fields the best chance to succeed. And if you think that the Bears are going to get Bryce Young, then you are either stupid or you you just don't know football. So I want to hear the Chicago Bears fans speak their mind out about this anyways. This is the Chicago Sports Talk. I'm not going to mouth.